Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Coach Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got everything for you right here. Uh, okay, so before we get into some Major League Baseball action for July the 8th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access here to the VIP club section and see all these tools across the top here, all these tabs, everything here is going to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're just a week away from the MLB All-Star break, and teams are really starting to ramp things up, looking to gain momentum for a second half playoff push. So we're going to take a look at some of the games here for July the 8th. There are seven games scheduled. We will look at uh, four of them. The first one is New York Mets and the Pittsburgh Pirates. In this National League East battle, you see the Mets come in ice cold down after a three-game losing streak and just two and four over their last six. And you can see they came off of a 14-2 blowout against Pittsburgh in the first game of this series. And Pittsburgh comes in average status, three and three over their last six. Uh, you see the pitching matchup is Christian Scott for the Mets versus Mitch Keller for the Pirates. Scott is... Um, 0-2 oh, with a 4.32 ERA, and Keller is 9-5 with a 3.48 ERA. You see that Keller is a much more solid bet at plus 549 compared to minus 393 uh, for Scott, and that is on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you look at the over-under, the teams have been uh, trending in games over the line. You can see the Mets 5 out of the last 6, and the Pirates 3 out of the last 4. The score prediction is, with a rather high confidence of 70% is for the Pirates in a 7-2 win at home. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see that the Mets, have, after a steep upward climb, after they're really playing good ball there for a while, have dropped considerably there at plus 4, and the Pirates on the upswing, they went to plus 18 from plus 8. If you'll take a look at the volatility officer and how consistent the teams are with regard to their favorite underdog status, you can see that the Pirates are more consistent at plus six. And the Mets have not been very consistent all season long. The highest that they have been on this oscillator is plus three, and they're currently now at plus two. The Mets won three of the four previous games between the teams this season. Uh, the Mets are 21 and 19 on the road, which is better than the Pirates' 21 and 22 record at home. But I like the Pirates this time mainly because they're at home and behind Keller, who has pitched really well, but I'm passing on the over-under. Okay, the next game we want to look at is Cleveland and Detroit. This is an AL Central battle. Uh, Cleveland comes in first in the division, while Detroit is fourth in the division. Uh, Cleveland is averaged down after losing two out of their last three. They are 3-3 three three over their last six, and Detroit is also 3-3 three three over their last six, coming off of a win against Cincinnati. Uh, Gavin Williams is scheduled to pitch for uh, Cleveland, he is 0-1 with a very high 11.25 ERA, but he really hasn't pitched much at all that, that yet this season. And he's minus 100 on the pitcher profit oscillator. The teams have been trending in games over the line. If you see this, 11 out of the past 12 games combined have been over the line. And you can see the score prediction is for Detroit 6, Cleveland 5. Confidence in the prediction is still rather low, though, at less than a coin toss at 47.6%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see... Uh, Detroit is on the upward climb up at plus 21, a steep upward climb just over the last couple of days, while Cleveland is sitting at plus 9. If we take a look at a few other things, we can see that uh, Detroit is 19-22 at home. Cleveland has a better road record at 26-21. As far as the stability factor goes, both teams are moderately consistent with regard to their fair underdog status. You see here the numbers here are plus 10 for Detroit and plus 7. Uh, for Cleveland. Uh, so in the end here, I think this is going to be a good one for Detroit at home. I know Cleveland is higher in the standings, but I like Detroit at home in this one. I'd say by one run, it's going to be a really tight game, and I'm going to go over the line. Next one we want to look at is another one in the AL Central. This is Minnesota and Chicago. Chicago comes in 3-3 three and three over the last six. Minnesota 4-2 over the last six. Both teams average status. Look at the scoring here. The over the line games here, 11 out of the last 12 between the two teams. But the score prediction is for a lower scoring game, 6 to 2 in favor of Minnesota. The confidence in the prediction is only at 67%. Not a surprise here that Minnesota is higher than Chicago on the power ranks indicator, plus 12 to plus 7. The surprise is that it's only plus 12 for Minnesota after being, you know, really high for quite some time here. They're at plus 28. Um, 
Head-to-head wise, it has been all Minnesota. If you look here at all the games this season, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games this season, every single one of them, Minnesota. Four at home and three on the road. Um, the scoring differential is plus 44 to minus 160 in favor of Minnesota. I mean, Chicago is one of the most stable teams in the league at plus 40, but that's because they've been consistently bad, right? They're at the bottom of the league for a reason. So in the end, this is going to be Minnesota to continue their dominance over Chicago in a game going over the line. And the last game we want to look at is Atlanta and Arizona. Atlanta is sitting a full 10 games behind the Phillies in the National League East. Their ice cold down, uh, just 2-4 and four over the last six. While Arizona is fourth in the AL West at 10.5 games out, and they are 4-2 over the last six, like I just said, and average status. Um, if you look at the over-under, the teams are trending on opposite sides of the over-under line. The score prediction is for Arizona pretty much all over Atlanta, 8-4, to four, but the confidence in the prediction is still rather low at 53%. Um, Atlanta has a scoring differential edge at plus 49 to minus 2. Uh, the Diamondbacks are a game over 500 at home, but the Braves are two games south of 500 on the road. If we take a look at head-to-head, -head, the teams did play earlier this season a three-game series in Atlanta with Atlanta winning all three games, two of the three games real close, and the third one a 5-2 to two margin of victory. On the power ranks indicator, both teams on the downward trend. You can see that Arizona is higher than Atlanta, and again, both teams on the downward trend. Um, the consistency factor, both teams moderately consistent, plus 16 to plus 13. What this means is that they're consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end here, I like the Braves to get back on track. If they went on the road, I say this is going to be not a blowout game, but could be a comfortable margin of victory of about three runs. So let's go with the Braves in this one. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for July the 8th. Happy betting and see you next time.